This is a massive amount of water being released from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. Enough water flowed out of these pipes to raise Lake Mead by an incredible two and a half feet in just five days. This surge of water was part of a high flow experiment that took place in April of 2023. But a new report issued by the Bureau of Reclamation states that these pipes are in serious trouble. How much trouble? Well, you're about to find out. Hey, do me a favor, hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb, let's get started. In this episode of Time Bomb, we'll start by reviewing the Lake Powell water level statistics. Next up, we'll look at the storage capacity of Lake Powell and compare that to the past few years. After reviewing the statistics, we'll take a look at that shocking new report from the Bureau of Reclamation that outlines how the Glen Canyon Dam may not be able to properly release water at lower water elevations. As you'll see in a few minutes, Lake Powell's water elevation is already at lower elevations. So this is a very interesting situation with potential for serious ramifications. Let's get to it. The water level at Lake Powell is currently 3,558 feet, 4 inches above mean sea level. That's a decrease of 10 and a half feet since the beginning of this year. The current water elevation is 68 feet above minimum power pool and 142 feet below the full pool elevation. The current elevation is 32 feet above the historical average for this date. Lake Powell's record high water level was set on July 14, 1983 at 3,708 feet. The current water level is about 36 feet above the record low for Lake Powell that was set on April 22, 2022 at 3,522 feet. The current capacity of Lake Powell is just 31.51% of full pool capacity. Lake Powell has benefited greatly from last winter's record-breaking snowpack and the spring runoff. The lake is currently 39 feet above the water level at the same time last year. Compared to 2022, the reservoir is 30 feet higher. However, it is still below the elevations from 2019, 2020, and 2021. This recent memo released by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation revealed that pipes used to release water from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam are in serious trouble. Engineers are recommending the river outlet works to not be used for prolonged periods of time, and if they do need to be used, the water flow needs to be reduced to prevent further damage to the pipes. But before I get into the issue with the river flow outlet works, I want to give a quick overview of how the Glen Canyon Dam works specifically in regards to the releasing of water from Lake Powell. There are three ways to release water from Lake Powell through the Glen Canyon Dam. We have the penstocks, the river outlet works, and the spillways. Lake Powell has a full pool elevation of 3,700 feet. Total release capacity at full pool elevation of 3,700 feet is 33,200 cubic feet per second through the penstocks. 15,000 cubic feet per second through the outlet works, and 276,000 cubic feet per second through the spillways. The spillways are used for emergency purposes only when the water level is very high. They are designed to remove water from Lake Powell as quickly as possible. But water cannot be released from the spillways below an elevation of 3,648 feet. The second method of releasing water from Lake Powell is through the penstocks. The penstocks are the pipes that direct water to the hydroelectric power plant to generate electricity. This is the primary method for releasing water from Lake Powell. Water cannot be released through the penstocks if Lake Powell's water elevation falls below the minimum power pool of 3,490 feet. To release water below the minimum power pool level, we need to use the outlet works. The water can be released from the outlet works down to an elevation of 3,394 feet. It's in these outlet works that the new problems were discovered. The intakes for the outlet works are embedded in the concrete of the dam near the left abutment. You can see them on the left side of this image. You have the eight penstock intakes at the elevation of 3,490 feet. And then on the left, you have the two river outlet intakes. 
at an elevation of 3,370 feet. The two river outlet intake structures lead to four pipes that release the water to the downstream side of Glen Canyon Dam. The river outlet works are not designed to be used on a regular basis, and definitely not for prolonged durations. In the initial design of Glen Canyon Dam, the outlet works were only to be used when the hydropower plant was taken offline and in extreme flood conditions, such as during the flood releases of 1983. The outlet works are also used during the scheduled high flow experiments that last for about two to three days and are designed to move sediment around below Glen Canyon Dam. High flow experiments are conducted about once or twice every year. After last year's high flow experiment, an inspection of the river outlet works was conducted and instances of cavitation were found in all four of the outlet works pipes. Cavitation is caused by changing pressure and water flows that can produce shock waves that are powerful enough to damage steel. This cavitation was caused during the high flow experiment where water levels are still above the minimum power pool. The problem, according to the report, is that cavitation potential is increased at lower reservoir levels due to the reduction of the static pressure within the river outlet works conduits. Now I know that sounds all technical, but basically what they're saying is, as the water level in Lake Powell declines, the risk of cavitation in the river outlet system increases. So until the Bureau of Reclamation decides on how to fix this issue, they need to refrain from releasing water from the river outlet works. Does this mean they'll cancel this year's scheduled high flow experiment? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Another thing to keep an eye on is water levels at Lake Powell. Now more than ever, it is critical to keep Lake Powell's water level as high as possible. They cannot risk letting the water level decline to the minimum power pool level, because below that point, water cannot be released from Lake Powell at all without damaging the outlet system. So this is a very concerning situation. At this point, we're not sure if Lake Powell can release the water it needs to to the 30 million people that rely on it downstream from the Glen Canyon Dam. I'm sure there will be a lot of news updates about this over the next few weeks. And of course, I'll be here to cover the story as usual. That's all I have for this video. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your support.